Hello everyone, no respawns here. Hope you've had a grand week and have managed to at least pull yourself away from Fallout 76 occasionally, if only to eat and potentially get the minimum amount of sleep. So what I wanted to do was I've been playing, I actually started a new game yesterday, so I played the beta quite a bit and then I started a new fresh game so I could kind of go at it without the pressure of having to rush through. So. What I've been doing quite a bit is trying to work on a nice early to mid game camp for players to use um, that doesn't rely on you unlocking massive amounts of schematics. Uh, mainly because, as you can see right here, I've got my little camp here and it looks quite nice. But normally, at least when I first entered the game, I was of the notion that I was going to need to unlock loads of building schematics and it became very clear quite quickly that this was going to take me ages up to the point that I would probably have pretty much reached max level if not been max level for a while before I actually got enough building schematics that I felt as if you know I, I could make something that was structurally quite cool and to be honest at least the way I like playing and the way I've envisioned playing Fallout 76 is I want my kind of mobile camp my base uh, my, my effective camp um, that I can kind of come back to when it becomes my my kind of linchpin, my rock, my beachhead. Especially considering this is a survival game, it's it's a lot more important. So I set about trying to make something that looked quite cool, and here it is. Uh, so this, um, I'm just going to give you a tour first. I'll explain uh, this video a bit different. So it's going to be a tour, then I'm going to explain where I got everything, a couple of few tips on setting up, and just generally like that. But let's just go around. So I've got this little perimeter fence with a few turrets. We literally just got attacked by some of those Liberator robots just a second ago. I've got one on the inside, one over there, and one over there. Uh, I've got this here, so I've got... This keeps bugging out, the texture keeps weird, so I'm... <laughs> uh, the water pump there, I've got some razor grain, I've got my interior turret, I've got um, four mute fruit, four corn, four potatoes, and a, I've just squeezed a couple of carrots in. Got water, purifier, the small one. I've forgotten to lock it, actually. I should get, out. I should get on that. Um, and I've got a little bit of a generator area here. I've got all my various crafting benches, as you can see. I've got a little fireplace with a guitar. And here is my very, very cosy um, little actual tent area. It's quite nice. Now, yeah, it's, it's, those of you, so I imagine a lot of you watching this video won't have subscribed to my channel or really heard of me before, but in Fallout 4, I did quite, kind of, high detailed, very, very RP friendly uh, player homes and settlements, usually smaller settlements that were a bit more high detailed, and that's what I'm attempting to do with Fallout 76 as well. Obviously, the game has just dropped, so we have quite, what I'm going to describe now as the vanilla items. Uh, let me get up here so we can give it a look from the top. Uh, but also, I, I suspect Bethesda will be adding more stuff as they go. So, for example, I, I even right now want to decorate a lot more. But yeah, it, it's quite um, it's quite a cool little place. I'm quite pleased uh, with the way it looks. It's just it's cozy, and uh, compared to the the actual kind of houses that I tried to make before, it, it looks better because quite because I don't have much decoration. That tent doesn't look weird with only a few bits of furniture inside. Um, to the point where I, what I was actually doing up until very recently was actually uh, basically just having this tent and none of these perimeter walls. But because I'm, I'm level 80, 19 now, um, I decided to actually make something that was a bit more uh, permanent. I'll show you where the location is. Um, so yeah, well, that's my base. Let me just expect to show you where the location is and give you some tips. So the location is, you'll see this You'll know you're here, but effectively it is up here, just north of Vault 76. The reason why I'm going to tell you this is because finding a nice flat area is really difficult. Uh, I do have not some criticisms, but it's just is a challenge finding a certain a place that feels right. Uh, but that's less of a criticism, more of just a personal preference. Um, and also I'm going to move out of this location soon anyway. Uh, so I actually posted a picture on Twitter on this, and a couple people asked me where, where I had actually built this, so I sent the... Uh, um, uh, tweeted it out. I was like, oh, I built here, and uh, I've since seen quite a few camps in this area. <laughs> and the slight issue is, is say for example, you've built your camp here, and you now go into the world that I'm in currently. 
Um, because I'm already in this spot, it will store your camp fully, which if you've just built just a bit too much like I have, or just, you know, built quite a bit, it's quite frustrating because even though it might schematic parts of it, it doesn't schematic the whole thing because it's not connected. And so you, and even then the schematics are a little bit squiffy right now. Uh, so you end up having to place everything down again. But so just as an FYI, by all means take the spot, but I won't be here. I've already potentially spied up my new area, so I'm pretty chipper. Right, so let's do a quick guide then. Uh, this is kind of my early game setup. This is how it looks. Um, obviously, there's the basic stuff. Just, um, I've got... You can, um, in Flatwoods, uh, make sure you pick up some mute fruit and some corn. And I believe there... I think there's mute fruit, corn, and potatoes there. And you can pretty much get everything you need right there. Um, I've actually got, um, the green thumb perk, where it is, that one, which reap twice as much flora as you, um, twice as much, so I basically, for every one of these, I pick up, have I, have I picked them all up, yeah, there we go, so I pick up, and I get two tails, it's pretty cool, because with that, I can make quite a lot of vegetable starch, which is really useful adhesive, um, I've also got the water purifier, I believe you unlock this, uh, just by following the main quest, and I've made this little area here, so, one thing that uh, those of you know my Fallout 4 videos will know that I like to make things highly detailed. So the building function was very different in Fallout 4 and we could, you know, I could use various glitches to kind of make like custom barricades. And so that means like generators especially would be in their own little generator box or just generally not out in the open like that. And I didn't like this. So what I did, well, I didn't like the way it was just kind of plopped down the floor. So um, at least to make it as good as possible I can right now um these fences I can actually snap a foundation to and then I can snap these primitive wall railings and I've just plopped it in there and it looks a lot nicer and then I can just put the warp purifier next to it and it looks quite nice um on the subject of these perimeter wall railings uh, so these are in the defense tab so they are over here in here they are all the way on there's right now to unlock all of these defense items here so you get these ones straight off the bat but then these ones you have to unlock you don't have to pay for these these are always scripted to appear in the same place so you just find uh any of the uh someone's wanted so i can't actually show you what the icon looks like uh, bu -bu -bu, there's one down here so there we go so like more um monog mo monoga Monaga, Monagu, Monaga, whatever, power plant, with that little symbol there, that is a public workbench, so um, always, always claim a public workbench, the first time you claim, the first one you ever claim, uh, you will unlock all of the defensive items that I showed you, so all of those perimeter walls, all of the guard posts, everything like that, so you'll get that as a reward, um, and then you'll get a defense mission, and once you complete the defense mission, you'll get a rewarded a random plan, just one settlement plan and now every time you go to any of those public workbenches and claim them for the first time or you claim them i don't know if it's the first time i haven't actually tried reclaiming them uh, but if you claim them you'll get a plan as a reward i think it might be only the first time but someone uh, let me know I, th I think so i know the defenses um at least with later defenses i haven't actually got on a second plan it's completely random what you get um you sometimes i think most of the time I got something crap, like a load of doors or a crappy... I got the, the flower rug, but one thing I did get, which I've not deliberately placed it down because it's very noisy, is this. So the fertilizer producer. Um, this is actually called the Brahmin pen when you get it, but it's actually the fertilizer producer. I think they just need to update the actual... The plan's named something different. I think they, that'll probably get patched out. Um, and what it does is it spawns a Brahmin, so you have your own Brahmin, and yeah... I'm going to move him in a sec because they're super noisy, but I can't actually move him while he's using it. Um, but yeah, that's quite cool. I quite like that, except when the Brahmin starts walking around and is very, very loud. Now, on the subject, um, he's going to be noisy now. Sorry about that. The second he moves, I will restore that. There we go. Goodbye. Right, grand. So you may notice one thing I've got is I've gotten variations on the cooking stations and the clocks, and the bed, the stuff that you would normally have to find a schematic for. Uh, loads and loads and loads of people already know this, and this has been sent to me dozens of times. Uh, but basically what you can do, at least for now, is there's a, a slight glitch you can abuse. Um, so if I... I'm going to use that chair as an example, but I'm going to do it again from the start. So say I'll do this chair here. So say I want... 
I don't know, this computer chair, right? But I haven't got the schematic for it. If I just go to one that I already have, place it down, then store it. So store. I'm playing on um, a PC, but using an Xbox controller in case you're curious. I just like using a controller because I'm weird. And then go to stored, and then I can scroll across. It'll still say that it's unavailable, but I can actually place it, right? And voila. When you store that again, it will look... Well, like a random item. But it'll look like, um... It normally looks like the item that it was originally, but it basically it won't always be the same item. The reason why I point that out is because chances are this, this will be patched, and once it's patched, uh, you will... You, the first time you store your base, you won't be able to get those items back again, so you have to unlock them. Hopefully it doesn't get patched, because it makes life a lot easier. Because, for example, like, when I'm buying recipes now, I'm not looking to buy individual ones, I'm looking to buy kind of collections. Uh, the sofas is probably a great example. So I want, say, uh, one of these cool sofas here, like a big, big fancy red sofa, for whatever reason. I'll just buy whichever one is in this list, and then I can unlock all of them. Uh, so right, and I'm buying schematics. So the tent is the set piece of this entire build, and as mentioned, I didn't actually use the fences for quite a while, and it was just the tent and the workbenches. It was quite nice for the early game, because I was basically just picking up a tent and plopping it around wherever I happened to be. So wherever I was kind of currently questing, I would kind of put it nearby. I might actually start doing that again, or at least with this big one. Um, where I got this, this isn't, as far as I know, at least I haven't found it. I bought it. Um, so what you can do is most of you already know this already, but again, just in case you don't, I got it from Morgantown Station. However, it's not scripted to be at Morgantown Station all the time. Uh, each of the train stations, and also the various vendors, so there's one at Morgantown Airport as well, and various places, all of the robot vendors have a randomised inventory. Uh, so, whichever server you want, they'll have a randomised inventory and a certain number of caps that they exhaust. If they don't actually have what you want, all you can do is just log out, so you just exit game, uh, you're effectively logging out the server, you go back in again, it'll find a new world, and it will have a new inventory. That's really useful if you really want the tent, which I, I recommend getting as soon as possible, and yeah, you can, you can basically just keep trying it until it turns up. I have the first level of the, what is the cap, oh, what is it, hard bargain, so I, I have slight discount. Uh, but not very much. I'm actually going to upgrade that, but for me it was about 270 caps, so just as an FYI. So, so, so most of the recipes you purchase, you unlock at set areas, uh, a lot of them you do from the overseer's uh, questing. Uh, just whenever there is an overseer's tape, usually there are a few uh, plans uh, inside the crate as well, to the point where I'm pretty sure that's the way you can only get a few of them. So for example, a few of them I just got, which I've just never seen them on sale. Uh, it would be under floor decor. So I got, well, I got those, but also I recently got these um, at one of the uh, nuclear silo sites. Oh, I haven't got either, I was just stumbled across it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure a lot of the items are scripted to be in there. But a few of the items, namely this acoustic guitar and this toolbox I found. Now, I'm going to tell you where I found them, just on the off chance you want to check those locations yourself. Sorry in advance if they're not there. Again, I don't know how this works. I uh, don't know if it's scripted or if there's, like, a chance. I did do believe I found them both in toolboxes, the red ones, for that's what it's worth. But I found the guitars one at Cobbleton Farm and the toolbox I found at the Voltec Agricultural Centre in uh, the, the actual greenhouses. I believe it was actually that one there. Uh, so just as an FYI, by all means check them, but yeah, sorry in advance. Um, same with these ones as I was able to with the acoustic guitar, I actually unlocked all of them actually. But um, hypothetically, if I only had one of them, I could have then done the glitch. Um, so yeah, what else? I believe that's it. So yeah, definitely my advice would be for, for getting plans to make sure that you claim every single workbench you come across. I'm going to attempt actually, uh, when I see one I've stumble up what by one I've already claimed before to see if I get another plan I don't know I think it might just be the first time but we will see a uh, little tip actually so I've got these turrets here uh, you'll often get smaller enemies such as mole rats or kind of those little rat creatures or ticks or something stumble over your turrets have a hard time targeting them so put the uh these are called the uh, is it the punji boards 
yeah, punji boards, uh, put them around your turrets, and then the mole rats can't actually melee them. They just kind of hit the punji boards, and then they kind of fly back. They do take a little bit of damage to the punji boards. I don't think they do, actually. Uh, but it's pretty useful. Uh, I, I realized this earlier, because one of my ones over here, this, this, this fellow here, was getting a little bit murdered until I surrounded him by spike traps. So, yeah, this is my early game camp. It's quite cool. Um, I'm adding to it always. It's quite nice because it allows me to kind of not feel like it's under decorated, but it also in my RP, in my you know head cannon allows me to kind of reposition it, reposition it without it feeling like it would be too difficult. And yeah, it just kind of suits the game. I do obviously hope Bethesda give us more tools to work with soon. It, I remember the data mine files, so there are loads of decorations for us to get, but I just think maybe they're not giving us all of those on launch day, considering all of the uh, mess that obviously launching an on online game is and servers crashing and all that jazz. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. As said, grab the tent. It's a really good one. I'm thinking of actually do it, get, grabbing the little tent and making kind of like a smaller mobile camp. I will have, obviously, actual build videos up once I actually unlock a few more structural elements, but I'll obviously potentially have new camp designs for you to work with. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. You guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.